First of all, what went through my mind is how stupid am I to actually volunteer for this. Unbelievably painful. Hey guys, I'm that Plum Bob Rob, and welcome back to Interactive Big Brother episode six. It is day nine in the Big Brother house, and we said goodbye to Damon last night, so we now only have seven housemates remaining. Uh, everyone other than Nayeli seems to be awake this morning. I think Phineas has just woken up. A few of the girls were in the kitchen getting breakfast sorted. Nothing new there. We have a couple of immunity challenges this episode too. So we will be focusing on those on this episode. Ken has just joined Alessa in the kitchen and Alessa seems to be walking away. I don't know why. What are you doing, Alessa? Oh, you want to go for a swim? That is wonderful. And Phineas is going to the kitchen now. Is he going to say hi to Ken? I'm trying to think if they've spoken much. What's their friendship like? I haven't really been checking their friendship. Oh my god. Phineas has a little bit of a romantic interest with Delaney. Delaney's really close to Eric. I didn't realise that they were so close. How's Eric's relationship? They're pretty decent. Why has Delaney not got a romantic interest with Phineas? That's really bizarre. Let's head to the garden. And Eric and Alessa are in the swimming pool. And why are you angry? Maybe she's stressed out about the immunity challenge. These two have never faced eviction. So maybe they're worried that they're not going to win the challenge. And they don't want to be up for nomination. And Ken has came to join them in the swimming pool too. He just wants to spend time with Alessa. That's all he wants to do. Oh, and here's the other love triangle that we got going on in the house. Anyway, I think I'm going to go straight on to the first immunity challenge for the day. So here is the task room. It's all set up for this week's task. So basically they all have to create something with the bonsai trees. If they accidentally destroy the tree then they are disqualified from the next round and we're just going to keep on doing rounds until there is one final winner uh i've just done a theme as a sort of japanese style garden uh i shook these down but i sort of love this effect that's going on in the room to be fair it's kind of cool um yeah this whole theme for this weekend is supposed to be like springtime so it's sort of like stuff growing maybe events that happen during the spring like different spring holidays will be coming up it's very exciting so yeah immunity challenge is starting tomorrow but obviously there is one that is also going to be starting out so let's get them all ready and get them into the task so all of the housemates are heading to the task room now to start the first challenge and here they are it's the first time i get to show this room and i'm excited to finally use it and eric's the last one to obviously go into the room because he's lazy <laughs> So, for some reason, Eric can't actually create a shape. Like, it's not working for him. And I don't know why, if it's due to some of his traits. So, Eric's going to have to be disqualified because he is just refusing to do this challenge. I'm very sorry, Eric, but yeah, you're disqualified. <laughs> Let's see how the rest of them are doing, though. So, I've only ever used the bonsai tree once as well, so this will be quite fun to see the sort of different shapes that they may create or may not create, depending on how good they are at their gardening skills and their flower arranging skills, which I don't think any of them have any of the skills, so let's see how this turns out. I'm excited. Oh, so Everly has failed this round who else has failed? It looks like Everly is the only one that is out of this round. Everly and Eric, you are both disqualified. So they can both just carry on with the rest of their day. <laughs> Let's have a look at the shapes though. Delaney's is pretty boring. Alessa's is boring. I like Nayeli's. She's got the freezer bunny. That's really cool. Oh, and Phineas has made a heart. 
and then Ken's is just a pretty basic one as well. So let's set them up for the second round. Okay, so we're on round two. Let's see how the remaining five housemates do in this challenge. It was interesting to see the different shapes that the others made as well. I'm also going to add those into the house because I think it'll be nice just to add a few decorations in. And then when they grow, I guess they can just keep on using that skill. So if there are any other challenges that may arise which involve gardening skills, then they can practice just a little bit. Oh, Alessa does not want to carry on. I think she failed. Who else has failed? Let me have a look. So Alessa and Nayeli both failed that round. So we are now down to three more contestants. So none of these housemates have ever won immunity as well. So it'd be nice to have someone else that is free from immunity this week. How the guy is doing? They look pretty focused. And Delaney's looking pretty focused too. How are they going to turn out? Will it be the guys or the remaining female? Delaney is looking very focused right now. And she has made another plant. Everyone has got through this round. It also looks like Delaney's just walked off. So that has disqualified her from this round. So it is now down to just two guys. We have Ken and Phineas who will win immunity from this week's nomination. And will survive another week in the Big Brother house. And how do they look? Oh, it's hard to decide. Let me just quickly pause. So we're going to have to go with Ken. So Ken has won immunity from this week's nomination. There will be one more challenge for one more housemate to win immunity from nominations, which will happen on Monday. So let's see what's been going on in the house. So Nayeli is quite angry. I don't think she's happy that she failed that challenge because she could now be up for nomination. I was surprised it was the guys that did the best in that challenge. Except for Eric. Like, I don't even know why he wouldn't compete. Like, it was really bizarre. So Ken and Phineas seem to be getting along more. Ken hasn't really spoke to Alessa much since the other night. It's really strange. And Nayeli is not really talking to Phineas as well. It's really bizarre that none of them are flirting anymore. So in the garden, it looks like there's Eric, Alessia and Everly are all going for a swim. And where is Delaney? Oh, she's just joined them in the kitchen. So, oh, I thought like Delaney was going to follow Phineas then. <laughs> I feel like everyone's just like a little bit down after the eviction last night. Like there's not really much like energy going on in the house. Like, everyone's just a bit, I don't know. It's very calm. Like not much is going on. And Ken doesn't seem that excited that he's won immunity. It's very bizarre. Oh, and Evelyn's came over to chat to Ken. She's congratulating him on winning this week's immunity challenge. I feel like everyone's been really chilled about flirting. Like, no one's too involved at the moment. How is Eric, by the way? Because he did not compete in the challenge. And I don't know. It was really odd that he just couldn't be bothered to compete. Like... I, like, I really don't know why that, like, why he wouldn't compete. It was really bizarre. Yeah, maybe he would just thinks that he's going to get, like, evicted this week because he was up for nomination last week. He may not win this week's immunity challenge. Who knows? He may win it. Maybe if he does, that would give him a bit more of a lease of life in the house. But at the moment, yeah, he's very chilled. The triangle have came outside. And it looks like just Phineas and Delaney are out here. Or they're like, Delaney, I don't think she can be bothered flirting with Phineas anymore. Come on, Finn, cheer up. You were so close to winning community. So close. Alessa and Eric seem to be hanging around a lot. <gasps> it looks like all the girls are having like a bit of a bitch in here. They're definitely moaning about someone in the house. I'm not sure who they're moaning about though. Maybe they can inform me. Oh, and Eric's came to join them. I think Eric and Ken want to know what they're all chatting about. That's the first time they've all congregated in the toilet. They've been in there for a good hour or so now. And all the guys keep on joining them. I think they just want to chat without the guys around. Maybe they're trying to come up with a plan on who to evict or nominate. Even though that's against the rules, you're not allowed to chat and discuss nomination results. I feel like Eric heard something that he shouldn't have heard them talking about. I have just placed a few of the housemates' bonsai trees around the place as well. Just some of the ones that... I thought it looked nice. Like, I love this one, the freezer bunny. That's so cute. I've never seen so many people in the bathroom and going in and out of that toilet. Like, there's so much bitching and gossiping going on. Like, what have they all been chatting about? And Delaney has not got involved in any of it. I don't think she knows what's going on. Delaney is totally none the wiser of what's been going on in this house. 
I think she knows that something's going on with Everly, though. I don't know if Everly's the one that's been instigating it or if it was one of the other girls. It was definitely one of the three younger girls in the house, though. Oh, and Alessa is ignoring Ken and chatting to Eric instead. She's probably just trying to make Eric feel a little bit better. Or maybe to make Ken a bit jealous. Why does Delaney keep following Everly around? Anyway, I think all the housemates are going to be going to bed now. So I will see you guys in a few seconds when it will be Sunday and we will do the second immunity challenge for the house and tomorrow's one is gonna be way more fun and it is sunday most of the housemates have now awoken for this second immunity challenge and if you have a look at the living room it is all decorated so we are having an easter themed challenge today so the housemates are going to be doing an easter egg hunt whoever get the most eggs with the most amount of rarity will win the second lot of immunity so if you get a common egg you'll get like one point if you get a rare egg you'll get three points if there's an egg in between then two points I'm, i think it's only common and rare i'm not sure i've only ever tried doing an easter egg hunt once before um i will get each housemate to do them in a specific order for how well they did on a quiz over on twitter Whoever was fastest will get to go first and they have all assigned an amount of eggs that they want to search for. So the first housemate to be searching for some eggs is going to be Nayeli and she has seven chances to find some eggs around the house. So when she's feeling a little less uncomfortable, she can start hunting for some eggs. And while Nayeli does that, it looks like everyone else that seems to be in the garden. They can go around the house. It just so happens that they all seem to want to be enjoying the sun. So Nayel is having a breakfast. She's getting ready for this challenge. She wants to win immunity again, guys. She is going to try her absolute best to do this. And nominations are also starting tomorrow. She has just been informed. So let's pick seven places for her to hunt for some eggs. two let's go here so that's three four five six and let's try the wardrobe seven so those are her seven eggs that she is hunting for none of the other housemates will be able to check those locations as well she seems pretty happy I won't check until the very end to see who actually got the most eggs and the rarity of the eggs. And this is her last chance. It sounds like she's got quite a few. Now, the next housemate is Delaney. Come on, Delaney, let's get your eggs. And Delaney also has seven eggs to hunt for. So let's have... So let's see if she finds any. What has happened to Ken? Why is his skin like that? I've never seen that in my game ever. Oh my God. It looks like he's been whipped or something. That's crazy. Uh, anyway, we should be checking Delaney. Is she gonna find any more eggs with her pancakes? And I've set all seven up for her now. She's doing well. Looks like she's doing well. This is her last one. Will she find anything? She did. Now, the third housemate to be searching for eggs is Alessa. And she will be hunting for six eggs. So let's set those up for her now. That's one, two, three, four, five, and... six she's doing well well she's completed a challenge at least i don't know if she found any but she's completed the challenge oh she didn't pick up many eggs it doesn't see um you can still win if you just get loads of rare eggs so you could get a few eggs, like, but still 
win. Now, Ken would be the next person to compete in the immunity challenge, but he already has immunity, as well as a horrible rash. Like, I'm still very worried about that rash. So, after Ken, we are going on to Phineas to compete. And he's only going to hunt for two eggs. And he didn't get the first one. I think he got one egg there, it looks like. So, the sixth person will be Everly, who seems to be in a flirty mood. Ooh, she's chatting to Nayeli about something. Probably a guy. Anyway, um, Everly has four eggs to hunt for, so let's send her hunting. So let's see if she finds all four of her eggs. So that's one, two. She's doing well so far. Will she get her third? She got three eggs and... Will she get a fourth? Where's she going for it? Over here. Oh, yes. And she got her four eggs. Now the final house mate to hunt for eggs is Eric and he has three eggs to hunt for. Once he's finished, you know, swimming, which he loves to do, just relaxing, not doing much, napping, you know, all the usual things for Eric. <laughs> Let's see if he finds all three of his eggs and then we will compare them all and see who actually got the most eggs. Oh, he didn't get his first one. Have they all been taken? Oh, we got one then. Will he get the last one? No, so he only got one egg. Oh, so it looks like Delaney, Alessa, Nayeli, Everly, and Everly, they completed the challenge. So none of the guys actually completed it. They are not going to be happy. But yeah, so anyway, let's go through and see who got the most eggs. So Delaney got one, two, three, four, five six points. Eric got three points. So Delaney's in the lead at the moment. Alessa got one, two, three, four points. Nayeli got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. Everly got one, two, three, four, five, six points. And Phineas got one point. So it looks like Nayeli won immunity once again with nine points. So Nayeli and Ken are immune from this week's eviction. Nayeli is very lucky. She is doing super well in this game. Like that was close, especially when like a couple of them also had a few rare eggs. She's so chuffed with herself. Look at her. Oh, and someone's got hay fever. Did you hear that sneeze there? Oh, Alessa also seems a little bit tense. I don't know if that's because she didn't win immunity. And Everly, this will be the first time that Everly will be eligible to be nominated by her fellow housemates. I feel like Eric definitely needed to win this challenge. He just needs to hope that none of the girls vote for him. The girls are definitely getting a lot closer. Like, I'm definitely seeing there's a bigger bond between all of the girls. It's really nice to see. But that could all change. Oh my God, literally. Everyone keeps on, like, phoning. By the way, if anyone who has used Eco Lifestyle, um, if anyone's done the old-fashioned neighbourhood plan, let me know, because I don't know if it will stop them using their mobile phones. If it does, please let me know. But at the moment, I don't want to be using much from the Eco Lifestyle in case it does affect the game a little bit. Oh my God, she's proper got hay fever. By the way, just to let you know that as more than half of the housemates did actually complete the immunity challenge this week, I will be upping the prize from an expansion pack and a stuff pack to an expansion pack and a game pack. If they lose a challenge, that will go down. If they win challenges, then the prize will get bigger. So it's all to play for. Like The winner could end up getting two expansion packs. I'm not going to do anything less than one expansion pack because the, they're putting a lot of effort into helping me with the game like everyone who is working on this with me they're putting in so much 
effort. Like, the second I'm like, I need your nominations. They are on the board. So, I just want to say a thank you to all eight of you. You are doing an amazing job with helping me do this Let's Play so far. And because of you, I'm able to get an episode out every single day. Can someone please let me know what is up with Ken? Because he is like covered in spots it looks like ringworm or something i've never seen this in my game before and i hope the other sims don't get it oh my god alessa's got it too why have they got this is it their beds maybe it's hay fever but it's just weird that there's a few of them have got it and delaney's got it as well oh my god coronavirus shill is getting real maybe it's because they're spending too much time together oh it makes me feel sick i can't look at it you don't need to put, like, chlorine in there, do you? <laughs> so, anyway, on that, like, disgusting note, I am going to end this episode here. They've had, again, another couple of busy days. So, yeah, don't forget to hit the notification button. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, follow me on Twitter as well for all the latest updates. And I will see all you beautiful, wonderful, amazing people next time where we will find out who is facing this week's eviction i can't believe it's came around this fast like we was only getting rid of someone yesterday and we're already nominating someone else tomorrow so yeah stick around and find out who that is tomorrow take care you amazing people bye